All right, guys, how's it going? So I've not actually covered Meta Balls yet, and they're kind of the unsung hero of 3D. Now, if my memory serves me correct, they were actually invented by Jim Blinn in the early 1980s, long time ago, and they've been in a lot of 3D applications, uh, from Bryce to Lightwave, and of course, Blender has them as well. Now, on a technical term, they're actually a mathematical formula, they're not really geometry in a sense. So in traditional fashion, we'll delete the cube, and we'll come up to add, and we'll take a look at meta balls. Now we have a few basic primitives, ball, capsule, plane, etc. So let's add in a ball, and let's take a look at the meta ball settings on the right here. Now we have a few options, resolution viewport, so you can see it's a little bit kind of untidy, I'll drop this down to 0.2, same as the render engine, and that kind of makes things a little bit smoother. Now, influence threshold is essentially when you have two meta balls coming together, there's a certain influence factor. So what I'll do here is, I'll give you an example, and I'll press Shift and D to duplicate, and that's the influence coming into play here. Now this is great if you're maybe wanting to do something like cells dividing, or protons and atoms, or I'm trying to pretend I'm educated in science here, but you get my meaning. And they also come in really handy if you're wanting to kind of knock a base shape out. So let's make a cloud using metal balls. Now all I'm doing is duplicating something like this. Let's move this one forward a bit. And we have this kind of cartoon cloud. So I'll select the object. I'll go to object, convert, and I'll convert from a mesh to a curve. And we now have a mesh. So there's a few things here we could actually do. We could add in a modifier, do a quick remesh. That looks good to me. I'll hit apply. I'll then do a subdivision surface. Let's put it up slightly. And we'll right click and we'll change the shade smooth. So there we go. We have this kind of cartoon cloud. Now this can be really good because you have different primitive shapes. You can actually create a quick base shape, merge it together, convert it as a mesh, and then take it into the sculpting. And that's pretty much the basics of Meta Balls. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow me on Twitter, I've got a couple of mates now, you know what to do.